with you totally on that one. If, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Well, we had a um, thing where the recording stopped. So basically, it's I basically pretty much was scrapping the idea of broadcasting this episode um, because I don't want to do it. This is the position we're in. Five minutes to go in the game. It gives you an idea of what's going on. I just lost. I just lost Matthews for the game. Um, probably holding on me. Ooh. I'll accept that. Charles, I know it's hard when line bullets are flying, but you cannot keep your hand up around the face mask area. It is absolutely inexcusable nowadays. We talk about target areas all the time. You have to aim lower so that your hand doesn't get involved in the face mask. And the offense lining up first and ten. One receiver, One receiver left, and two to the right. Frustrating. So they really needed points here in a two score game. Could not get away with anything there on four. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career, but we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. I mean, I haven't been able to move the entire time. The only time we've actually, the only play that we actually made was early in the game. It was a fake field goal by Seattle um, that forced the holder to fumble the ball, and I returned it for a touchdown. I have not had any offense all day today, except for maybe getting to the 50-yard line. Seattle is like so much better than like almost everybody. Man, that's funny. Take this 
from down to the 36. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you've got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked into the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Third down, here's Rawls. They'll bring him down at the 28 yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward to get the first down. I don't know how many times I've had fumbles and haven't been able to recover it, but it's real. I mean, he loses the ball, he it doesn't go far, it fumbles. he's recovering his own fumble. I'm okay with this stuff. It's like they say, it's like I've heard other people complain that, oh, it's like I forced the fumble, I should be automatically able to get it. Well, that's not real. Yeah, that's the game. So, sorry I'm not able to show the entire thing. Um, I'm going to resolve it. Um, basically, it was my hard drive that filled up. Um, so, I'm going to clean up and empty out a lot of the stuff that I had on there. And it should restore the issue. This is David B69. You got a free hitter. And that's what we saw there. And a really nice play resulted for them.
this is pretty much the rest of the season. I mean, there's like, what we, we, we're two and eight now, so we got six games remaining. So I might get him like for one or one or two games of the season. <sighs> it's just frustrating. Um, it's going to be a rough go offensively without him.